guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, I'm Mia and welcome to my channel. Um, so today we'll be playing another game and it's one of my favourite games ever and it's called Episode. The story we'll be playing is called Off Limits by Sandria Gustafsson. <laughs> I don't know how to say her surname. Um, and it has 4.6 million reads. And it's not. And it's not an episode story because I don't have enough money to buy gems, so I don't have to use gems in this story. Okay, so we can start with the story now. Episode 1 Mr. King. What's your name? My name is Mia. Imagine you were to say, oh, that is your name. Um, okay, so I just have to make my character quickly and then I'll be back. Um, okay, so this is my character and this is perfect. You look awesome. You. Okay, so I'm going to make voices, deeper voices for the men, and then a little bit higher voices for the other girls, except for my character. Guys, I'm having a party at my place. Cool, I'll be there. You'll be there too, right babe? Ew, this ugly guy is my boyfriend. Of course. <laughs> His eyebrows look like a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. Gotta take a dump. Okay, um, that's disgusting. Gosh, Russ is so, just so amazing. Back off, Mel. Don't worry, I know he's yours. You can take him, I don't want him. <laughs> Do you? Of course, duh. Good, because everyone knows that Russ and Mia are a thing now. Are you guys official? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> That's so great. Keep an eye out for her. What? Nothing. Goodbye, you can go away now. So, Mia, I heard that you'd be parent free for a month. Yo, my dad is leaving on a business trip early tomorrow. That means you'll throw awesome parties, right? Yes, but you won't be invited. <laughs> uh, I haven't really thought about that. Oh, come on, don't be a prude. <gasps> First on the scoff. I mean, this, this lady is very rude. <laughs> um, if she doesn't want to have a party, she doesn't have to. Party pooper. I should get home. My phone died and I don't want my dad to worry. I get you. I'll see you tonight. Of course. Bye guys. <laughs> Where are you going baby girl? Do not call me that please. That's not nice. <laughs> Do you mind taking me home? Uh, right now? Yeah. You're fine, whatever. <gasps> Thanks. Thanks for driving me home. Uh huh. There you are! Who's this old man? This old man is her dad. Oh, poop! And you are? Dad, this is Russ, my boyfriend. What's up, brother from another mother? You're dating this loser. <laughs> Dad! Russ, what's that? Was it? <laughs> this guy's voice is weird. Yo, man. You better be out of my house in three seconds or else. But rude. I thought you said your dad was cool, Mia. <coughs> Whatever, I'm out of here. 
Goodbye. I've called you ten times. Sorry, Dad, my phone died. Did you need to tell me something important? As a matter of fact, yes. I want to talk to you about my business trip tomorrow. Dad, I'll be fine. It's just a month I can take care of myself. I know you can, but... I have a friend at work who just got out of a relationship and needs a place to stay. I told him he could stay here in exchange, he'll keep an eye on you. You can't be serious. You want me to live with a guy I've never met? You have met him, he babysat you when you were a kid. He did? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I met him when I was only 28. He was only a teenager back then. I saw him every day on my way to work, sleeping at the bus shelter. He, he was homeless and he was just a kid. He was so skinny you could tell he didn't eat much and nobody seemed to care about that poor boy. I felt bad for him so I took him out for lunch and then offered him a job. Turns out the kid was really smart and he quickly got a hang of things and I completely turned his life around. He became one of my best friends and I trust him with my life. Whoa, that's some story. What's his name? Easton King. Now get dressed, he's coming over any minute now. What? I thought we'd all have dinner together so you get to know each other. I have plans with Russ tonight. No you don't. To freshen up, he'll be here any second now. Go. So, dinner with my dad and my new babysitter. Awesome. Okay, simple. Ew, that looks like pajamas. Vintage. Mmm, that's not very beautiful. <laughs> this looks like a strip outfit. I die in VM. Mm, okay, that one's okay. And tomboy. Okay, I is like this one, so I'm gonna choose it. I'm here. Mia, just in time. Mia, this is Easton. This man standing before me was nothing like I've ever imagined. It looked like, it looked like looking at a cover magazine model. He had skin that was smooth like that. was disgusting, but okay. He had skin that was smooth like velvet, soft but captivating eyes and a jaw that could cut through stone. He narrowed his eyes and studied me. And that alone made my toes cool. Okay, calm down. <laughs> he was the most gorgeous man I've ever seen. Mm, disgusting. Okay, so now I just have to make him and then I will be back. Okay, so this is how my guy looks and he is perfect. This is your daughter. And, and what's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize she'd be so... Be so what? Easton paused for a moment. It seemed like he was looking for the right word. He ga his gaze was still right on me. He flicked his tongue on his lower lip. <laughs> his hard stare made me feel nervous. Be so what? Nothing. <laughs> Is something burning? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Check. <laughs> My casserole! <laughs> Are you done staring? Um, you were the one staring at me. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember you. You don't remember me? I'm hurt. How old are you? I'm 25 and you must be... I'm 18. Oh. What? Sorry, the last time I saw you, I had to stop you from eating sand. It's kind of weird to see you as an almost adult now. What do you mean, almost? 
I am an adult. Sure you are. I do stuff that adults do. Oh really? Yes. And what's that? Uh... That's what I thought. Dinner's ready! After you. This... This dinner is amazing. I haven't had a home cooked meal in ages. <laughs> Tina didn't cook for you. <laughs> I'm just going to give him a new voice because I can't remember what his voice was. Sorry for bringing up your ex. I didn't think it's fine. She was always too tired or out partying with her friends and I can't cook for the life of me. Mia is excellent in the kitchen. I bet she can cook you something nice while I'm away. Right, sweetie? Uh, I'll be polite. Sure, I'll cook for you. You, uh, you don't have to. It's not a problem. In that case, I'd love a home-cooked meal. Yes, I will cook for you, but you must just be <coughs> nice to me, then I will. Maybe you can even teach me. Of course. So, what happened to you and your girlfriend? Mia. It's fine. We broke up because she cheated on me. Oh. With my best friend in my bed. Oh, flip. Language. I didn't even say so. <laughs> I guess some people aren't what you think they are. So I'm currently looking for an apartment since we're living together. You know you can stay here as long as you'd like. I appreciate that, James. I'd like it more if you'd let me pay you. Taking care of my daughter while I'm away is more than enough. She can be a handful. Oh, really? He's exaggerating. It looks like I'll be the judge of that. Ross. Hey Bay, where are you? I am leaving you. Goodbye. Flip, I forgot to tell Russ that I can't come to his party. Can I please be excused for a minute? Sure. Hey Russ, I'm sorry but I can't come tonight. I'm having dinner with my dad and his friend. Are you kidding me? Oh. I forgot to do his voice. Can't you sneak out later? I can't. You can't or you won't. I'll try to sneak out later, okay? No, you... <laughs> Yay. <laughs> no, you won't. Excuse me? You're not sneaking out later. You can't tell me what to do. Fine, I'll, I'll get your dad then. Wait. Yes. Maybe we can negotiate. Negotiate, hmm? Yes, this should be interesting. Go ahead. If you don't tell my dad what I'm up to, then I won't tell him what you're up to. What am I up? What I'm up to? Come on, I bet you like to party and have some fun instead of babysitting me. <coughs> Let's get something clear. Your dad is a very great friend of mine. I'm in the middle of a separation and he's kind enough to open up his home for me in exchange for looking out for you, uh, for keeping an eye on you. Now, what kind of man would I be if I let him down? Who are you meeting anyways? My boyfriend. My boyfriend. Well, tell your boyfriend that you're staying in tonight. Thank you. I want to because I don't want to go to that ugly man. You should know that while your dad isn't here, you'll be living under my rules. In your dreams. There you are. Is everything okay? You're totally fine. I was just telling your daughter that she'll be following my rules while you're away. Good. I trust you to take good care of her. Oh, I will. Oh my goodness. I haven't shown you your room yet. Mia, would you be a doll and show him to the guest room? I'm not a doll, I'm a person. Of course. <coughs> Follow me. That's a girl room, but okay. <laughs> this is your room. Thank you. 
What's up with the scrub? Scrub. You know you'll get wrinkles on your forehead if you keep frowning like that. I'll s I'm scrowling because I don't like you. You used to love me when you were a kid. I gave you your favorite doll, remember? I gave you your favorite doll, remember? You played with it for months. I was a kid back then. It's going to take more than a Barbie doll to get me to like you. I have a feeling it's going to be interesting to live with you. Interesting? I... Um, Interesting, more like pure pain. If you're done here, I'd like to leave. I'll check on you later tonight. I won't sneak, I'll relax. Gosh, she's going to get on my nerves. Relax, he'll only live you with you for a month. Yes, but the next day. I hate to leave you again, but I'll be back in the month. I'm glad Easton is keeping an eye on you. You can tell that as it is, Dad, babysitting. I'll be a good babysitter. I don't doubt that. Call me if there's anything. <laughs> I said that's so weird now. <laughs> Call me if there's anything. Bye, Dad. Bye. They just say bye to each other like that. They don't even kiss or hug or anything. Get dressed. I'm taking you to school. Um, I am dressed. Are you going to school dressed like that? Yeah, what's the deal? Those shorts are kind of short, don't you think? I don't know why you're looking at my legs. Mm -hmm. That's kind of inappropriate, Mr. King. Don't be silly. I'm not changing. Fine, whatever. Let's go. Uh, you didn't have to drive all the way. Are they, are they your friends over there? Uh. Yes. They're staring at us. Oh, I wonder why. They're probably wondering why I'm, what I'm doing in a stranger's car. You want me to answer them? Ugh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll pick you up after school. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, but you my feast of a boyfriend, my disgusting boyfriend. Hey, who was that? Are you flipping cheating on me? What? No. That was my dad's friend. He gave me a ride. Whatever. Goodbye. I don't want you anyways. Oh my gosh, that guy he came with is eye candy. I can see why Russ almost pooped in his pants. I have to tell you something. Sure, what is it? He's going to stay with me while my dad's on a business trip. Shut up. Why? He broke up with his girlfriend and he needed a place to stay. He's living with you and he's signal. Signal. <laughs> he's living with you and he's signal. Single. Well, single. single. He's living with you and he's single. <laughs> single. He's, <sighs> he's living with you and he's single. <laughs> oh no! Okay, well. okay. It said. It said. He's living with you and he's single. <laughs> single. He's okay. He's living with you and his signal. <laughs> single, single, single. <laughs> He's living with you and his signal. Hey, <laughs> dude, you're so spicy. Okay, dude, He's living with you and his single. Finally. Candy, chill out. Nothing can happen. Why not? He's an bum. Also, he's my dad's friend. Ooh, forbidden. I like that. Even if he's hot, nothing can ever happen between us. No. <laughs> he's right next to us. <laughs> Mia? <gasps> you forgot.
got your backpack in my car. I know. Uh, thanks. No problem. <laughs> Do you think you heard that? You want me to lie? Flip. He's going to tease me about it, I'm sure. I'm not sure about that. I swear I could see a flicker of heat in his eyes. Don't be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. What? It looks like Melissa is st staking her claim. Ew! Please, Melissa. Oh, it's done. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was the first episode of Off Limits. And I am enjoying the story so far and I hope you guys are also enjoying it. If you want this to become a series, just tell me and then I'll do the rest of the episodes. Um, and also, remember to leave a like if you like this video and to subscribe for weekly videos. And click the bell thingy to get notified every time I post. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye. If you are new here, if you are new here, my name is Mia, and welcome. Yeah. So today we'll be playing another game. <laughs> um, I met him when I saw. I went. What the flip is going to say? I met him when I was twenty-eight. He's an only teen. Yeah.